Welcome everybody, my name is Lindsay. We've got a gentle yoga class today. We'll work through the whole body. We'll be spending some extra time in twists, working on our internal spring cleaning. So we'll find our way to a comfortable seated position. So that might be a cross-legged position like I'm in. That might be planting the feet, keeping the knees up towards the sky, something where we can find a little bit of length here in the lower back. So if keeping the legs out wide causes a little bit of um, rounding, if it feels tight here in the hip flexors, you can just lift the knees up and use the hands to help lengthen the spine at first. So feeling into that, noticing the sitting bones down on the floor, just evenly planted. And we'll take a moment to draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, and we'll roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Pausing with the shoulders back and down. Keep that engagement through the belly. Keep that length through the spine, a slight tuck of the chin here. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Again, like that, inhaling through the nose. Nice, big, full inhale, pausing at the top. Then we'll open our mouth and sigh it out. Nice and slow. Whew. One more time, inhaling fully through the nose. Open up the mouth, sigh it out. Ah, Great work. The eyes are closed. You can blink them back open. Great. Well, we're gonna start to work in through the back of the neck. We're gonna draw small circles with our nose, outlining little teacups here in front of us. So noticing any sensation as we make these circles with the nose, just outlining that little circle, that little teacup in front of us. And we'll take the circles larger, outlining the salad plate, noticing maybe any tight spots. We'll take the circles larger, coming to a dinner plate. Just noticing what you are noticing here. And if you notice the tend to label sensations as good or bad, I encourage you to come up with a new description of the sensations. Instead of good or bad, you might say, oh, tight or that's relaxing or some, some other thing aside from the, the good or bad. We'll take these circles now, the largest, coming in to outline our gong or our symbol. Nice big circles, the full biggest circle you can make there with the nose. Fantastic. We'll pause these circles and we'll take them in the opposite direction, starting with the largest size first, those symbols, or those gongs shapes, and working our way down to the teacup. So take some time here, noticing how the sensations changed, moving from one direction to the other, where sensations are arising, and maybe rebranding or relabeling the sensations with a, a more descriptive title. Okay. We'll take these circles down to the dinner plate size now. Into our salad plate size. And we'll come down to our teacup. Fantastic. Pausing that movement, find yourself again nice and still. Draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, find that space in the collarbones, drawing the shoulders back and down. Noticing, breathing. We'll take an inhale, lift the arms up nice and tall, reaching the fingers up towards the sky. We'll exhale, open the arms out towards the sides, getting the arms parallel to the floor. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, lengthening out the neck. Keep the belly engaged here. We're going to start to draw circles with the fingers on the opposite walls. 
It's gonna be fairly small circles, but I mean, experiment. See if you like the bigger circles or the smaller circles. Really just warming up across the chest, the back, keeping the core nice and engaged, as well as warming up the arms. Great work. We'll take our last three, two, one in this direction now, switch directions. Draw those circles in the opposite way. Find that space between the ears and the shoulders. Keep drawing the shoulders down as we make these circles. Noticing if they're creeping up, keep the top of the head shining towards the sky. We'll take our last three, two, one. Fantastic. Now we're gonna pulse the arms back behind us, squeezing the shoulder blades back there and then releasing, bringing them back to neutral. Taking that movement a little faster, just bobbing the arms back and forth, squeezing the shoulder blades on the back of the body, stretching across the chest, pulling the arms forward, keep the head nice and neutral, keeping the crown shining towards the sky. Great work, nice work. Our last three, two, one. Great work. Flip the palms again towards the sky. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down through heart center. Beautiful work. Closing the eyes here for a moment. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, keeping the belly engaged and the spine nice and long. Take a long, slow, deep breath, connecting with the breath, feeling the sensations where we are experiencing them. Slowing down the breath. Connecting with these sensations. Beautiful work. We'll blink the eyes back open, draw the hands down towards the knees. Bring the chin towards the chest. And we'll bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then we'll bring the chin back to the chest, left ear towards the left shoulder. We'll continue to make these half circles in the head. Rolling gently from side to side, noting where you are experiencing, you know, those spaces that need the extra TLC. We'll bring the right ear back over towards the right shoulder, kind of pinpointing that area, maybe on the left side of the neck that needs a little extra time or a little extra stretch. And we'll breathe here for a moment, just softening the shoulders away from the ears, re-engaging the belly, keeping the lower portion of the spine nice and straight here. Feel still tall as we tip the right ear towards the right shoulder. And we'll extend the right arm out toward, I'm sorry, left arm out towards the left side of the mat. Fingertips hover over the floor. Feeling that length here run from the left ear down towards the left fingertips. And we'll start to wiggle those left fingertips like we're, you know, petting a furry companion next to us. Great. Starting to pause that finger wiggle. We'll draw our figure eights. Nice work. So these figure eights can be fast and small. They can be large and slow. Just feeling into the shape that you would like today, really helping to focus on that spot that maybe needs the little extra release. Staying connected with our breath is going to allow our kind of stress response to calm down, allowing the muscles to release just a little bit more Fantastic. We'll pause our figure eight there, adding a gentle bend to the left elbow, flex the left fingers up towards the sky, start to press the left palm away, pressing that palm. Feel the space between the ear and the shoulder, just grow a little longer. Breathing nice and slow. Great work. Your next exhale, release the hand back to the lap, lift the head back to neutral. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down a few times, rolling out the shoulders, hoping to integrate that stretch. Great work. Ah, pausing with the shoulders back and down, we'll draw the chin again towards the chest. We'll bring the left ear now towards the left shoulder, pinpointing, finding that spot that needs the, the extra time, the extra stretch. Pausing here for a breath, noticing our setup, draw the belly in, reconnect with the breath, feel that nice long spine and draw the shoulders down. Then we'll extend the right arm out towards the right side of the mat, fingertips hover over the floor, 
Just noticing how that sensation changed. Great work, starting to wiggle those right fingers over the floor. Fantastic, pausing that finger wiggle. We'll start to draw our figure eights now. You might notice that one side has, you know, different requirements or different desires than the other side. So go ahead and feel into, okay, maybe I wanna take a different speed or different size figure eight on this side. Notice your breathing, <sighs> slowing it down. Fantastic. Pausing our final figure eight. We'll take that gentle bend in the right elbow, flexing the right fingers up towards the ceiling. Start to push that right palm away. Push, push. Take that long, slow breath. Great work. And as you exhale, we'll lower the hand back down towards the lap, lift the head again to neutral. Roll the shoulders again, forward up, back and down. A few times, just feeling that kind of warmth, maybe those sensations, just noticing what you're experiencing. Ah, fantastic. We'll pause with the shoulders in the back and down position. And if you're in a cross-legged position, we'll switch the legs crossing. If you're in an alternate seated pose, go ahead and wherever you are, roll out the ankles, wiggle the toes, and we'll come to settle back down in our seat. So we'll do some alternate nostril breathing to help balance the two sides of the body as we get into our twist. So finding that long spine, we'll start with just a few rounds of long, slow breath in and out through the nose before we transition to our Nadi Shodana breath. Breathe in through the nose, nice and slow. Exhale through the nose, nice and slow. Allow every inhale to become a little bit more expansive. The belly expands, the chest expands on the inhale. The exhale, the chest lowers, the belly draws in. Nice work. Allow the shoulders to stay nice and soft down the back. Keep the breath moving in and out through the nose. Fantastic. So for our alternate nostril breathing, we'll be using the thumb and ring finger of our hand to alternately block the right nostril and the left nostril. So some positions for the hands, you might leave the index and the middle finger extended, placing them on your third eye or the place between the, the eyebrows, kind of in the middle of the forehead. Or you can pull those two fingers down, placing them on the kind of the pad of the thumb so the hand's a little more closed there. So options, fingers down, fingers up. And we'll start by blocking the right nostril and exhaling out the left. Exhaling completely through the left nostril. Place the finger on the left nostril, open up the right nostril and inhale. Inhaling fully and we'll exhale out through that right nostril. At the bottom of the exhale, switch sides. Close the right, open the left, inhaling fully. Exhaling fully. At the bottom of the exhale, switch. Inhaling fully through the right. Exhaling fully through the right. Switching sides, inhale. And exhale. Switching sides, 
Inhale. And exhale. Switching sides, inhale. And exhale. Switching sides, inhale. And exhale. Last side, switch, inhale, and exhale. The bottom of the exhale, release the hands back to the left and take a few rounds of breath through both nostrils. Noticing what you are experiencing, both in breath body and in mental body, physical body. Great work. We'll blink the eyes back open. Ah, fantastic. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Mm. Great work. With the hands on the knees, we'll start to take our barrel rolls. We'll swing the torso around, allowing the belly to be soft. And as you exhale, drawing yourself back around, squeeze the belly in. Inhale to swing forward, allowing the belly to be soft. Exhale, drawing yourselves back around, squeezing the belly in. Inhaling. And exhale. Noticing where you are experiencing sensations. There might be spots along the lower, mid, upper back that are calling out to you as sensation. Just noticing like a, a scientist kind of taking an inventory, just noticing what's there, what's, what's coming up. Mm, great work. Let's take these barrel rolls in the opposite direction. Great work. Ah. We'll round ourselves all the way back up to seated stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae. We'll roll the shoulders forward up, back and down when we reach the top. Ah, great work. As you inhale, we'll lift the arms up overhead, lifting the gaze up overhead. With the exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right. Bring the left hand to the right knee, draw the right hand back behind the body. Draw the belly in, push through that right hand to help lengthen the spine. And we'll exhale, begin to twist just a little bit deeper over towards the right. Maybe starting to gaze over that right shoulder. Keeping the lower belly gently drawing in, help keep the spine nice and long. Great work. And as you exhale, slowly unwind, passing back through center. Great. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, lift the gaze up. And exhale, twist over to the left. Bring the left hand back behind you, right hand to the left knee. Pushing in through that left hand, draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders away from the ears. With the exhale, start to twist just a little bit more, maybe gazing over that left shoulder. Great work. As we exhale, unwind, passing back through center. Okay, rolling the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Mm. Great work. We'll uncross the legs. Plant the feet about hips distance apart, knees up towards the sky. We'll take our seated cat cow movements, grabbing on behind the thighs. Inhale, push the chest forward, lift the gaze up. Exhale, draw the belly in, round. Inhale, 
push the chest forward, lift the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, draw the belly in, round back down. Great work. On your next inhale, rise back up to neutral. Mm. Great. Switch my directions. So we're going to lower ourselves down onto our forearms back behind us. And take a moment here to push into the forearms and make a little adjustment in the lower back. You might have found that when you rolled back, you were kind of uncomfortable on your tailbone. So we'll push into the feet, lift the hips, and just gently tuck the tailbone towards the heels. So we're resting a little bit more on the sacrum, more of that um, triangle-shaped bone in the, the hips. Push into the forearms and help push the chest up towards the sky just a little bit more. Great work. We'll be coming into our paddle boat position here. So if you find this becomes uncomfortable in the shoulders or the arms, you can release the chest all the way down onto the floor. This is a-okay. You'd like that little bit more heart opening here, pushing in through the chest. We're going to draw both knees into the chest. So either lying on the back or resting on the forearms. And from here, we'll extend the right leg out nice and long. Great job. Keep the belly drawn in. Draw the right knee back in. Extend the left leg out nice and long. Great work. Keep that belly drawn in. We're going to continue to alternate kicking the legs one at a time. Kick, kick, kick. Taking these at the speed that you like. So the slow movements are going to have a different effect than the fast ones. You know, you can take the fast ones if you'd like. This is a little bit more for heart rate and getting the, the heart rate going. And the slow ones is more for our muscle uh, engagement, more for our strengthening through the core and the legs. So choose, choose your paddle boat today. We'll take another two rounds of breath here as we alternate kicking the legs out. Fantastic. We'll finish up on the final side. Great work. We'll draw the knees into the chest and we'll all meet up on our back with the knees drawn in towards the chest, giving ourselves a nice big hug here, squeezing the knees in. We'll take a little rocking from side to side, massaging out the lower back. Great work. Ah, pausing that gentle rock from side to side. We'll extend the legs out nice and long onto the floor. Point and flex the toes, roll out the ankles, giving the feet a little bit of movement. Great work. Then we'll flex the toes up towards the sky, taking that little scoop out of the, the lower back here aiming to draw the tailbone towards the heels, just a little bit more grounding the lower back towards the floor, just getting that core engaged here. And from here, we'll now point the toes towards the top of the mat or towards the short edge of the mat. Warming up through the feet and then we'll pull the toes back up towards the sky, stretching out through the backs of the legs. Great, one more time like that, point the toes towards the short edge of the mat and then we'll lift the toes back up towards the sky, great. Now. We'll pull ourselves back up onto our forearms, pressing those forearms down into the floor. And we'll take a, a few options for our fish pose. So here with the legs resting, pushing into the forearms, push the chest forward. And we'll start to point the toes towards the top of the mat again. So this is one variation of fish pose, chin towards the chest, push the chest up towards the sky, toes point. If you'd like a little bit more of a stretch through the neck, you can start to lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. Okay, that's another step for our fish pose. If you'd like another variation of fish pose, you'll start to squeeze the muscles of the glutes, squeeze the muscles of the legs. And with an exhale, push into the heels, begin to lift the hips up off the ground. Bring the gaze back just a little bit more, keeping that engagement through the neck so that the head doesn't just fall back. Great work, and we'll lower down nice and slow. Great work. Lower yourselves all the way back down onto the floor. Oh, release the head, release the neck. Allow the toes to fall out towards the outer edges of the mat. Bring the palms to face the sky, opening up through the collarbones. Take a nice resting breath here. Great job. Now we'll draw the knees back into the chest, turning ourselves back into that little ball. Grabbing opposite elbows, take a gentle rock from side to side. 
Fantastic. Pausing that side to side rock, we'll grab on behind the backs of the thighs. We're going to take a few rocks on the long edge of the spine. We're going to meet up in a seated position or uh, bent knee, these feet planted. So if rocking doesn't feel right today, you can just come into our feet planted, hips distance apart. Meet up there. We'll draw the belly in and lengthen the spine. Feel nice and tall here. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Mm, great. So using the bind of the hands to help lengthen the spine here at first as we get into our posture. So we'll be taking a variation on our boat pose today. We'll be keeping the feet planted and we'll be twisting the torso from side to side, getting into our twisting sequence. So keeping yourselves up nice and tall here. You might find today that you'd like to just keep the bind on the, the legs and you can Twist the shoulders from side to side, keeping the spine nice and long here. The next step here, if you'd like to, you know, move beyond the hand bind, is that you can bring the palms out in front of you and we'll interlace the thumbs. Lowering the torso back just gently, just at a slight angle, we'll begin to bring the hands over to the two sides of the body. Twisting to the right, twisting to the left. Again, taking this nice and slow, really working on that muscle control here. Tapping the fingers from side to side. So imagining that we're moving maybe through jello or something that's got some resistance. Nice and slow, probably feeling some of this engagement along the back side of the body, along the front side of the body, maybe even in through the thighs, maybe in through the arms, somewhere you're feeling maybe something. Continue to breathe. We'll take one more breath here. And after you have equalized the two sides, we'll bring the hands back out in front of us, releasing the bind. And we'll grab on again behind the thighs and take our seated cat cow. As you inhale, Push the chest forward, lift the gaze up. As you exhale, ah, rounding down, gazing towards the navel. Inhale, rocking up, looking up. Exhale, rounding down. Gaze at that navel. Great work. We'll inhale, rise ourselves back to neutral. Hmm. And from here, we'll extend the legs out into a big V shape. Moving some of the meat from underneath the sitting bones, flexing the toes up towards the sky. And give the feet a little wiggle here. Point and flex the feet, just warming up here in this position. We'll draw the belly in, feel nice and tall in our spine. Hands can rest on the legs, draw the shoulders down, just lengthening the spine here. You might enjoy a gentle bend in this position here at first. Breathing nice and slow. We'll bend the left knee and pull the sole of the left foot in towards that right thigh. The hands down by the hips now, roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. We'll inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Reach those arms up, gaze up. Lower the right hand to the outside of that right leg. These left fingers are going to pull up. And then we're going to draw a rainbow shape with those left fingers over towards the right toes. So stretching in through the side body here, imagining that we could spiral the collarbones, spiral the heart to shine towards the sky. So we're getting more openness here, not wanting to maybe touch the toes, but really to find this lift and this twist in through the spine, drawing the belly in, reach those fingers over, gaze maybe up towards the ceiling, maybe towards the wall allowing ourselves to move the gaze from the floor in a more upward direction. Great work. Draw the belly in. We'll exhale, rise ourselves all the way back up, lifting both arms up overhead, reaching the fingers up. So from this position, we can follow the direction of our hips. We're going to draw the belly and we're going to hinge forward straight down between the legs. Reach the arms forward and then plant the hands down onto the floor in between the two legs. Push into the palms, lengthen the spine, growing a little longer here. And as you exhale, start to round down between the two legs, allowing yourself some softness in through the neck, in through the head. Just allowing the head to dangle here, maybe a gentle rocking from side to side.
Great work. We'll draw the lower belly in. As you exhale, slowly begin to ragdoll yourself all the way back up. We'll roll the shoulders again, forward, up, back, and down. Great work. Bringing the hands back by the hips, we'll draw the belly in. Lengthen the spine. We're going to pivot. We're going to twist here so that the collarbones now shine over that right leg. So we're twisting over to the right. We're going to walk the left hand to the inside of that right leg. So keep that engagement through the belly. Keep that length through the spine. Pivot those collarbones over the right leg. And then we're going to start to tiptoe the fingers forward. Walking the fingers forward, hinging from the hips here at first. Keeping the spine nice and long. Push into both hands. Lengthen the spine one more time on the inhale. And as you exhale, slowly round down over that right leg. Allow the head again to be nice and heavy, just softly draping yourself, whatever that might look like today, getting that stretch through the lower, mid, upper back here on the left side, getting that little squeeze, that little twist on the right side of the waist, breathing here. Great work. We'll draw the lower belly in and slowly rise ourselves all the way back up. Great work. Untwisting, roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Mm. Great work. Extend the left leg out into that big V shape. And we'll switch sides. Bend the right knee, pull the sole of the right foot in towards the left thigh. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Bring the hands down by the hips. Draw the belly in, feel nice and tall here. Notice the sitting bones. We'll inhale, reach the arms up overhead. We'll lower the left hand down to the outside of the left leg. Reach up with those right fingers and draw that rainbow shape with the right fingers over towards the left toes. Again, we're gonna get that little spiraling effect of the torso, reaching the heart up towards the ceiling. Extend those fingers just a little bit closer towards the toes. Again, not, you know, trying to reach and touch the toes maybe if that causes some rounding in the back get that open sensation that space between the you know right armpit down towards the right hip point great work draw the lower belly in and we'll exhale rise ourselves all the way back up lifting both arms up take an inhale at the top Draw the belly in, we'll exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips, leaning, 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 leaning forward. Great job, lower the hands down in between the two legs. Push into the palms, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, slowly start to round down between the two legs. Oh, finding that softness here, allow the head to be nice and heavy. Maybe finding some gentle movement in the head, a little nodding of the head, yes and no. Fantastic. Pausing that movement in the head, we'll draw the belly in, slowly round ourselves all the way back up. Rolling the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Mm. Hands come down by the hips, draw the belly in, pivot the collarbones over that left leg. Now getting that twist here. We'll begin to bring that right hand to the inside of the left leg. And then we're gonna tippy to the fingers forward, keeping the spine nice and long here as we hinge forward from the hips. So it might look just a little bit like this. You might walk the fingers forward a little bit more. As we exhale, we'll slowly start to round down over the leg. Allow the head to be nice and heavy here. Find that softness in through the back of the neck. Maybe some gentle movement of the head if that feels nice. Fantastic. Pausing that movement, draw the belly in, slowly round yourselves all the way back up to seated. Coming back to neutral, roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Mm. Great work. We'll bend both knees and roll ourselves over into a tabletop position.
So stacking ourselves up in our tabletop, the wrists are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips. We'll shake the hips from side to side here for a moment, warming up through the spine. We'll bring the hips over towards the left and the gaze over towards the left shoulder like we're staring at our tail. Now we'll bring the hips over towards the right, bring the gaze over towards the right, stretching into the other side. Nice work, come back to neutral. From here, take a moment in bear pose, rolling out, finding those wiggles, just getting settled here. Thinking of bear as our intuitive, movements like a bear coming out of hibernation you may have some ah spots that just need a little extra time we can take our bear as an opportunity to you know work into those spots might be taking a moment in child's pose it might be more of those cat cow movements it might be our barrel rolls just finding something here that ah, feels nice Okay, fantastic. We'll start to pause our bear pose and come back into our tabletop position. We're gonna take a variation on our bird dog pose or our 50-50 plank today. We'll start by extending the left leg out behind us and kick that left heel in line with the rest of the spine. We're gonna draw the belly in, feel nice and flat through the back of the body and start to get light in those right fingers. Staring at a non-moving spot, will slowly extend the right arm out in front of us. So you might choose to stay here, or if you would like, as you exhale, open the arm out to the right and the, left, the leg out to the left. Open them out kind of to the sides. And we'll inhale, bring them back to center line. Great work. Again, like that. Exhale, open out towards the sides. Inhale, back to center line. Last one, open out towards the sides. Great job, back to center line. Lower the hands, lower the knee. We'll rock back into child's pose. Bringing the hips and the heels together at the back of the mat, extending the hands out nice and long. Give the fingers a little bit of movement, roll out the wrists. Maybe give that left wrist a little massage, a little support. Fantastic. We'll take those movements on the other side. As you exhale, rock back up into your tabletop position, stacking the wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Uh, I've been taking a knuckle down position here to just keep my wrists feeling a little happy today. So that's an option as well. Drawing the belly in, push the floor away with the hands. We'll extend the right leg out back behind us and then kick that right heel up so it's in line with the rest of the spine. Re-engage the belly, feel nice and flat through the back of the body. And then we'll start to get light in those left fingers coming up onto the, just tensing the fingers. As you're ready, extending the left arm out in front of you. Feel the arm and the leg reach in the opposite direction. Feel nice and long here, belly is engaged. And as we exhale, open the arm and the leg out towards the sides. Now you might find that these movements are not ones that you wish to take today. So you're welcome to just stay in our uh, classic bird dog pose or come down into child pose. We'll open the arm and the leg out again towards the sides. Inhale, bring them back to center. Last one, exhale, open the arm and the leg out towards the sides. Great job, bring them back to center. Lower the hand, lower the knee, take that child's pose. Again, find that movement into the hands, the wrists, maybe a gentle massage here. Great work. We'll walk the hands over to the left side of the mat, staying nice and low in our child's pose. Bring those arms over to the right, allow the head to be nice and soft, maybe feeling some lengthening action take place from right shoulder down to right hip point. Breathing here, feel that right side of the chest just open and expand with the inhales and the exhales. Lower it down. Great work. We'll start to walk the hands back through center, then over to the right side of the mat. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. We'll come back to center. Plant back down onto the floor, about shoulders distance apart, gazing at the fingers. We're rocking forward into our tabletop. Tuck the toes back behind you. Draw the belly in. As you exhale, push the hips up towards the sky, coming into our downward facing dog. Push the shoulders back, add a gentle bend to the knees, and we'll start to heel toe the feet down, kind of like we're walking our dog. We'll just lift and lower opposite heels, stretching in through the backs of the legs. Wonderful. We'll take this dog walk and we'll start to walk the feet in the hands towards each other, meeting up in a forward fold. Ah, releasing the weight from the hands. You might grab opposite elbows here for our forward fold, taking a few breaths here to help lengthen out the spine, using gravity to help, you know, find that extra space. Allow the head to hang heavy here, maybe nod the head, yes and no. Maybe drawing little half circles, full circles with the top of the head, whatever feels nice here for you. Great work. Ah. Adding a gentle bend to the knees, draw the belly in. We'll exhale, start to rise ourselves all the way up to standing, stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae. Head comes up last. I'll roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Feeling that nice length through the spine. Fingertips extend towards the floor. Coming into our Tadasana Mountain Pose. So the feet are equally planted down into the ground. Belly draws in, slight tuck of the tailbone. Fingers extend towards the floor. Feel that space between the ears and the shoulders. Just lengthening as you drop the shoulders down. Feel the fingers reach actively towards the floor. Great work. Now inhale, lift the arms up overhead, lift the gaze up. Exhale, open up the arms and swan dive forward, hinging from the hips, coming all the way back down into our forward fold. Place the hands on the shins. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising ourselves all the way back up to standing. Lifting the arms up, lift the gaze up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Great work. Next, inhale, lift the arms up overhead, imagining that we're catching a great big beach ball up overhead. So the arms are parallel to each other. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears just a little bit. Draw the belly in, reach the fingers up, but keep the shoulders pulled down. We're gonna pass this beach ball over to the left. Passing the beach ball over, push the hips over to the right. Feel the sensation in your feet, noticing the weight distribution between the right and the left side. Try to equalize that weight distribution. Keep the fingers reaching, push the hips over to the right. Draw the belly in. Our next exhale, rise ourselves all the way back up to standing. Great work. Recenter the feet, re-engage the belly, draw the shoulders down. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, reach the beach ball over to the right. Push the hips to the left. Feel the weight distribution in the feet, nice and even. Reach that beach ball over. Keep the sternum shining towards the wall. Keep reaching, great job. Draw the belly in. We'll exhale, rise ourselves all the way back up. Great job. Drop the beach ball. Bring the hands back behind the hips. Interlace the fingers by the hips. Draw the knuckles down, broaden through the collarbones, coming into a back bend. Push the hips forward. Push the chest up towards the sky. Lift the gaze up towards the sky. Draw the knuckles down the legs just a little bit and then draw the belly in. Exhale, rise yourselves all the way back up to neutral. Great work. Now coming into a forward fold, gentle bend in the knees. Draw the belly in. Exhale, begin to hinge forward from the uh, hips. Leading with the sternum, lowering yourselves down. Lift the knuckles up towards the sky as you come into this forward fold. Ah, bound forward fold. Allow the head to be nice and heavy here. Maybe nod the head again, yes and no. Maybe just feel this position here with the hands bound. Great job. Lower the hands back down towards the hips. Add a gentle bend to the knees. Draw the belly in. Slowly round yourself all the way back up to standing. Stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae, release the hands, ah, roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Oh, ah, great, move front, back, side to side. We'll come to the top of our mat. Find our Tadasana mountain pose, extending the fingers down towards the floor, lengthen through the spine. 
Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, lift the gaze up. Exhale, open up the arms, swan dive forward, hands from the hips. Place the hands on the shins, inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise yourselves all the way back up to standing, lifting the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Great work. So we'll be moving through a few standing postures. We'll be taking warrior one to high crescent to twisted crescent. So if you would like a little bit more uh, stability, you can move a little closer towards a, uh, a wall or um, bring a chair nearby. Uh, we'll be taking us through this nice and slow. So we'll be working on our footing and the position of our hips. Uh, at any time, you're welcome to come out of these poses or find an alternate that um, feels nice for you today. Starting with our standing posture, hands can either be at heart center or at the hips, whichever you prefer. We'll start to push down through that right foot, squeeze the right thigh, squeeze the right glute. We'll start to get light in those left toes, coming up onto the left toes, just feeling the balance in the right leg. Squeeze the muscles of the right leg, keep the belly engaged. As we exhale, extend this left leg nice and far back behind you, taking a big step back, about three feet back. And we'll lower the toe, we'll lower the heel. We're coming into our warrior one, so the back toes are pointed towards the upper right, uh, upper left corner of the mat. You can bring the hands down to the hips here and just check the direction of the hips. If they're opened out towards the side a bit, aim to pull that back foot towards the front of the mat and pull the right hip back, push the left hip forward so the hips are more square towards the top of the mat. We'll start to bend nice and deep in through that right knee, tucking the tailbone down just a little bit, feel that stretch maybe along the left hip flexor. We'll inhale, reach the arms up overhead, coming into our warrior one. Great work. Bend that right knee, maybe just a little bit more, keeping the knee tracking over the ankle, pushing the hips forward towards the top of the mat. That right hip pulls back, that left hip pulls forward. Draw the shoulders down a little bit farther away from the ears. Find that space, that beach ball shape. Breathe here, nice and steady. Great work. We'll draw the hands down to the heart center and straighten the front knee. Great work. We're gonna get our feet into our crescent lunge position. So this back foot, we're gonna swivel so that the heel lifts and just the toe area is planted down onto the ground. So if this is uncomfortable in the foot, um, you're welcome to keep the foot lowered and take this sequence in our warrior one position. Now if we find that balance, and we'll start to re-engage the bend in the right knee. Great work. So for high crescent, the heel of the back foot is lifted. For warrior one, the heel is lowered. Both positions, the hips shine towards the top of the mat. Great work. Inhale, reaching the arms up overhead for our high crescent lunge. Fantastic. Keep breathing here. Now we'll begin to move into our twisted crescent. Bring the hands out in front of you, like you're gonna hand a present to somebody that's in front of you. Great. We're gonna start to lower the right hand down towards the floor, opening the collarbones out towards the right leg. Reach those left fingers forward just a little bit more as you open the, left, or the right arm back behind you, bringing the gaze over towards that right hip. Opening up, reaching the arms in opposite directions. Reach, reach, reach. Keep that nice bend in the right knee. Breathe. And we'll slowly roll, lower the right hand back down towards the floor, meeting back up with the left. Extend the arms up overhead. Great job. As you exhale, straighten the front knee, bring the hands down through heart center. Beautiful work. We'll plant down through that right foot. Take a gentle bend there. Bring the left foot all the way back up to meet the top, at the top. Extend the fingers down towards the floor. Find your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel nice and grounded here through the feet. Reconnect with the breath. Breathing steady in and out. Notice the sensations through the body. Right leg, left leg, right side, left side. 
just noticing what you are experiencing. Take another round of breath here in our Tadasana, allowing the breath to slow down. Great work. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, lift the gaze up. Exhale, open up the arms, swan dive forward, hinge from the hips, coming down into our forward fold, lengthening out the spine. Place the hands on the shins, inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising ourselves all the way back up to standing, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Fabulous. We'll take that sequence on the other side. Start by pressing down nice and firm in through that left leg. Draw the belly in. Gaze at a non-moving spot. We'll start to get light in the right foot coming up onto the right toes. Feeling the balance in through that left leg. We'll start to extend the right leg back behind us. Take that nice big step back coming into our warrior one. So about three feet back that back foot goes. And the right toes point towards the upper right corner of the mat. We'll bring the hands to the hips here, just so that we can feel the direction of the hips. If they're opened up towards the side, try to swivel those right toes more towards the top of the mat. Pull the left hip back, the right hip forward, so that they're a little bit more angled towards the top of the mat. Great work. Got the hips set. Start to bend the left knee over the left ankle. Take a gentle tuck of the tailbone. Feel that right hip flexor. Just get a little extra stretch there. As you inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Feel nice and broad through the chest. Reach the fingers up. Take a few breaths here in our warrior one. Allow the mind to stay focused on the breath. If you notice the mind is wanting to wander away in these challenging poses, just encourage yourself to gently keep the mind focused on the breath in and out. Great work. We'll draw the hands down through heart center. As you inhale, straighten that front knee. Start to come up onto those right toes, those right toe mounds, lifting the right heel up, finding our crescent legs. So hips still point towards the top of the mat. We're just up on our back toes. From here, re-bend that left knee over the left ankle and extend the arms back up overhead for our crescent lunge. Great work. Noticing what you are noticing in this position. Take a few breaths, steady and slow, in and out. Now moving into our crescent lunge, I'm sorry, our twisted crescent. Extend the fingers forward, hand that gift off. And I'll start to lower the left hand down towards the floor. Reach the right fingers just gently forward as you extend the left arms out behind you. Reaching in opposite directions, feel that twist, feel the breath move steady and slow in and out. Beautiful twist. Great work. We'll lower the left hand back down towards the floor. Reach towards the front, lift the arms up. I'll inhale, straighten the front knee, draw the hands down through heart center. Great work. Gazing at the top of the mat, push through the left foot. Bring the right all the way back up to the top. Finding that Tadasana mountain pose again. Sending the fingers down towards the floor. Ah, broaden through the collarbones. Take that slow round of breath in and out. Beautiful. Feeling in through the body. Noticing what you are experiencing. Slow down the breath, slow down the heart rate. Beautiful work. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, lift the gaze up. Exhale, open up the arms, swan dive forward, hinge in the hips. Coming back down into our forward fold. Place the hands on the shins, inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Fantastic. From here, we'll bend the knees enough that we can plant our hands at the top of the mat. With the hands planted about shoulders distance apart, we'll extend the legs back nice and long, coming into our plank pose. 
Press the floor away as you lift the sternum away from the floor. Draw the belly in. Keep the hips in line with the shoulders. Feel the core engaged here. Take a breath. And we'll exhale. Bend the knees down towards the floor. Untuck the toes. Bend the elbows towards the back of the mat. Lower the chest all the way down towards the floor, taking that half push up. Ah, beautiful work. Extending the legs out nice and long behind you, hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in towards the body. With the inhale, push into the palms, lift the chest up, take your low cobra, gazing up towards the sky. We'll exhale, lower the chest back down towards the floor. I will take a second back bend here, our seal pose. So you're welcome to stay in low cobra if that feels better or for, low, um, for seal pose, you can walk the hands out six to 12 inches and then up six to 12 inches. Still keeping the elbows pointed down towards the ground. We'll start to engage the muscles of the lower body, squeeze the glutes, start to push the toenails in towards the floor, feel the legs engage. As you inhale, push into the palms, lift the chest up, lift the gaze up, finding our seal pose, little deeper back bend here, gazing up. And then exhale, release everything back down onto the ground. Ah, oh, great job. Bend the elbows, bring the palms underneath the head, resting on one cheek here. We'll kick the heels up towards the sky and we'll take a reverse windshield wiper, lifting and lowering the heels from side to side. Hmm. Fantastic, pausing that windshield wiper, extend the legs out again, nice and long. Now we'll pull the elbows underneath the shoulders coming into our sphinx pose. Forearms are parallel to each other, about shoulders distance apart, pushing into the elbows, lift the chest up, lift the gaze up. And we'll exhale, draw the chin back down towards the chest. Great work, we'll bring the gaze to neutral. And we're working through our thread the needle with the arms. Bring the left hand in towards the center of the mat. Push through that left arm. Inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left. We're going to come to rest on the right upper arm. Oh, lowering the chest down. You can wiggle that left arm out in front of you so that you can create a pillow for your head. Oh, with that left arm, that feels nice. We'll take a few breaths here, stretching in through the arms, spreading across the chest, getting a little bind in through their lymphatic tissue. If you would like a little bit of opening through the hips, a little addition to this pose, you can take belly down tree pose, opening the left knee out towards the left side of the mat. So no need to keep the legs connected like in classic tree pose. You can just allow that left knee to open out towards the left side of the mat. Just an option there if you'd like. Take a few rounds of breath in and out, nice and slow. Hmm. Spring is one of those traditional times when we would um, maybe experience change, uh, change in the weather, change in growing patterns. We've got uh, new things sprouting up all around us. <sighs> so I found this quote that I really enjoyed. Um, change is inevitable. Growth is optional. John C. Maxwell. I like to keep that in mind for my, my spring activities. There will always be change, but it's up to me how I deal with that change. So these twists and these changes in perspective can be a helpful reminder in um, all big changes that happen off the mat. We'll start to unwind our 
twist here. Re-lengthening the left leg, extend it out nice and long. We'll draw the left elbow back underneath the left shoulder, pushing in through that left arm. Inhale to reach the right arm all the way back up towards the sky. We'll get the fingers a little wiggle there. And then we'll lower the right elbow underneath the right shoulder and bring the right hand underneath the face. Pushing in through that right arm, switch sides. Inhale, lift the left arm all the way up towards the sky. And we'll exhale, thread that left arm underneath the gap in the right. Lowering down onto our forearm. Oh, we can use the right side as a little pillow. Again, that belly down tree is available on this other side, opening that right knee out towards the side, just if that feels nice. If you find that this is a comfortable variation or something that feels beneficial to you, just that little opening through the hips there. Allow yourself to stay connected to your breath. Fantastic. Few slow breaths here. You might incorporate that inhaling through the nose and the exhale sigh through the mouth, just allowing the muscles to release a little bit more. Ah. We'll start to unwind our thread the needle pose. Extend that right leg out again, nice and long. Mm, pull the right elbow back underneath the right shoulder. Push in through that right arm. Lift the left arm all the way back up towards the sky. Stretch the fingers up. And we'll lower both forearms back down onto the ground. One more Sphinx pose. Get the arms parallel to each other. Lengthen the legs out nice and long. Push into the forearms. Inhale, lift the chest up, lift the gaze up, getting that back bend. And we'll exhale, open out the elbows, lower the torso all the way down onto the floor. Great work. Mm. Resting here for a moment or give the hips a little shake from side to side, a little shimmy shake of the hips, wiggling out through the spine. Mm. Great. Pausing that, we'll give ourselves a little pencil roll, rolling over onto our back. Roll, roll, roll. Ah. Fantastic. We'll bend the knees and bring the heels a little closer towards the sitting bones. Feet are parallel to each other. Push into the feet just a little bit and lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels, getting the sacrum just a little bit more flush with the floor. Press the palms down into the floor, down by the hips, spread the shoulders nice and broad. We'll get set up for our bridge pose. Pushing down into the feet, the front and the heels of the feet, squeeze the muscles of the glute, draw the lower belly in. As you exhale, begin to push the hips up towards the sky. Taking a gentle tuck of the chin towards the chest, we'll keep lifting the hips up towards the sky. Either keeping the hands down by the hips or you can begin to interlace the hands underneath the hips, drawing the shoulders underneath the back just a little bit more, like you're walking the shoulders underneath you. Reaching those hands maybe towards the heels. Feel the hips lift towards the sky. Keep breathing here, steady and slow. Great work. As you exhale, if you've got the bind of the hands, release that, release the shoulders, lower the hips down nice and slow. Ooh, great work. Untuck the shoulders. Moving into our figure four position, lift that right chin up towards the sky, flex the right toes towards the right knee, cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Maybe use that right hand to help open the right knee out just a little bit more. Great job. From here, either choosing to stay or drawing the figure four in towards the chest, grabbing on behind the back, that left thigh around the left shin. Keeping those right toes flexed towards the right knee, just helping preserve and protect that knee joint. Allow the head to be heavy here, resting on the floor. 
Take a few rounds of breath here, nice and steady and slow, feeling what you are feeling. Great work. As you exhale, lower the left foot back down towards the floor. We're gonna take this into a cross-legged twist. We're gonna take that right knee and we're gonna cross it just a little bit tighter over the left thigh. Allow that right leg to be soft. We're gonna open the arms up into cactus arms or airplane wings out towards the side. And we're gonna lower the knees over to the left side of the mat. You might bring the gaze over to the right shoulder. Great work. We'll bring the gaze back up towards the sky, draw the belly in, lift the knees back up towards the ceiling, uncross the right leg. And we'll take our figure four on the other side, lifting the left shin up towards the sky, flex those left toes towards the knee, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, help that left knee out just a little bit. Either choosing to stay here or as you'd like, draw the figure four in towards the chest. Keep the left toes flexed towards the left knee. Fantastic. Wow. We begin to release that right foot down towards the ground. Taking the deeper cross in that left leg, squeezing the left leg over the right, soften the left foot, open the arms up again into cactus arms, and we'll lower the legs over to the right side of the mat. You can bring the gaze over towards the left shoulder. Fantastic, bring the gaze back up towards the sky, draw the belly in, lift the knees, back up overhead, uncross the legs. We'll draw the knees into the chest one more time for our Apanasana pose, our little ball shaped pose. Squeezing the legs in, giving ourselves some nice compression. Draw the belly in, exhale, lift the forehead up towards the knees. Feel every muscle, every part of the body, just get a little, tight, squeezing everything in, feel the arms engage, the legs engage, the toes engage, the belly engage. And then as you exhale, ha, release everything out, lengthening the legs out nice and long, coming into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Extend the legs out long, toes fall out towards the outer edges of the mat, hands come down by the hips, palms face the sky. Taking a little tuck of the shoulders back behind you, draw the chin gently down towards the chest. Take a moment here to get a little bit more comfortable as we settle in, taking a few minutes in our Shavasana final resting pose. Allow the eyes to close and allow the breath to move naturally in and out through the body. Allow yourself to soften and release the muscles in the face, the muscles in the shoulders, the muscles in the hips.
allowing our body to integrate all the movements that we've done today, all the breath. Slowly begin to bring a little bit of movement back into our fingers and our toes. Taking some slightly deeper inhales. And fuller exhales. Finding some larger movements in the body, stretching the arms up overhead. Or maybe drawing the knees into the chest. We'll make our way over onto our side body, resting in a fetal position. Taking a moment here, maybe with the eyes closed, feeling supported on our side. Take a moment to feel a sense of gratitude towards ourselves for prioritizing our health and our wellness today. As you are ready, we'll help ourselves up into a comfortable seated position. Eyes can stay closed to the gaze softly lowered. Taking a breath here to feel into the body. Feel into the mind. Take an inhale together, lifting the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands come down through heart center. Thank you so much for your practice today. The light in me sees and honors the light in you all. Namaste.